Ladies and gentlemen, here to give you guys a review for episode six of Hell's Paradise. So coming off the last episode, Gabi, uh, Surugi, um, they were in a very bad place because the senior upperclassman was ambushed from behind and basically incapacitated and half of his gut ripped out by a hand from the giant that we had seen this whole entire time that people were trying to like get into a fight with him, I think around episode two. What we saw it looked like he ate them. Um, we didn't know the levels of what he could do. And in this episode, you get it. And oh my gosh, I I think watching this show like made me understand like how much I truly love this show. It is insane. And it's insane for a lot of different reasons. I mean, of course, the animation style is great, the, the score is great, um, the action is on point, but there's something about the symmetry of the characters. Um, this whole entire last episode, you know, the upperclassman senior was getting on Sagiri, like saying she was this, saying she was that. And, you know, in his dying breaths, he was like, why are you still helping me? Like, what, what is the point of you helping me right now? Like, you should be running. And he got a revelation of who she is as much as, you know, how much he was wrong. And I love that scene because that gave her identification and, and, and also validation of kind of who she is as a samurai, um, that there is a middle impasse. And that even plays a role later on into kind of the fight. But even crazier than that, like your boy Gabby, the hollow is in a bad space because this giant ain't coming down. <laughs> like he is giving him the business, everything he could think of. Like he's hitting pressure points. He's, you know, throwing projectiles, projectiles that would go through trees, like full on trees. And we know how strong Gabby is. And he even admitted like he's stronger than me and nothing is working. And it was kind of like, I kept on going back to the very first episode when he kind of had this revelation. He was like, you're strong. Like, and this whole entire time I was kind of like, he's been protecting her. He's been doing this and doing that. But when she gets the full revelation of who she is, what her capabilities, this moment right here, oh my gosh, when they realize, oh, okay, I'm going to help you, you help me, and seeing her, and because this is the crazy thing, the, the setup for this was, you know, everybody getting to understand, like, you know, this dude is not going down, I've done everything I possibly can, he's not going down, and, you know, Gabby had kind of did something, and she got out of the way, and he got splattered. Like he his his whole body went into the ground and he came back up and he thought he was okay. And then all of a sudden he starts bleeding from everywhere in his face. And I was like, this ain't good. And and so something told me it's like eventually, if old girl, the other person is not gonna help, the other ninja's not gonna help, there's nobody else around us, a senior that can get there quick enough. He's like, he's he needs help. And I was kind of like, if she is as on point as I think she is from the first episode, I was just waiting for that to happen. This is going to be amazing. And when you start seeing her deflect, oh, my God. Because, like, she had even said, she was like, you know, the areas around his bones is the best place to kind of get him. And you didn't know whether or not it could work or not. And she starts to go in. And they kept on going back and forth and working at it. And trying to figure out, like, is there a way, is the best way to get this guy? And they both came to the revelation, like, okay, we've got to get him down to his knees. But this is going to cost us. <laughs> this is very risky. And how did, I'm not going to spoil all of it, but when they got him down to his knees, and it looked like it wasn't going to work, and Gabby steps in, and I was like, oh, this is so, it is, bro, like, that was the most gratifying fight because of the buildup. I mean, if you go and look at the first episode, to kind of how uh, Sirigiri has been, to how Gabby's been progressively trying to protect her. And, and you know, I think that even they said, finally, our interests have aligned. Like, now that that's a thing, like, and they're more than capable. They are the strongest team. And it's just, it's amazing to actually watch them be a team, right? So then, like, they kind of cut to something else. <laughs> And you got, you know, these two brothers and, you know, they're, they're just in there putting in work and stuff like that. And one of the brothers is like, you know, drinking the blood of the monsters. It's like, that's a whole other thing. But they hear something. And in the woods, 
they start to see something weird going on. And all of a sudden, well, no, but even before that, like the hollow and his crew saw what looks like a village out there. Then they see these two and they are just slobbering each other down, <laughs> um, sharing what appears to be some kind of fruit. I don't know where the fruit comes from. And the weird thing is, like, they look like one of the one of the left hair looks like it was like flowers. Um, so I I don't know if they're supposed to be like angels or something like that. But when they look back, I was like, that looks like death. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what's about to go down, but eventually they're all gonna have to come back full circle and work together. This was a phenomenal episode. Like I, I didn't anticipate it going this hard. Like I knew it was gonna be bad, but when Gabby was sitting there struggling with the dude, I was like, I don't know, man. <laughs> but this is great, dude. I, I really appreciated this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace, people. Filing out the top of the Skyline, 50 mile radius on my timeline. Ain't nothing on